All right. U.S. Secretary of State, meanwhile, Antony Blinken, says Israel has accepted the latest bridging proposal on a Gaza ceasefire deal. And this is, of course, urging Hamas to do the same. However, Hamas has criticized the claim, accusing Washington of favoring Israel. Blinken said that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has assured him of support for a U.S. proposal to bridge gaps on a ceasefire in Gaza. His comments came after a two and a half hour long meeting with Netanyahu. In a very constructive meeting with uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu today, uh, he confirmed to me that Israel accepts the bridging proposal, uh, that he supports it. It's now incumbent on Hamas to do the same. Blinken also said that Netanyahu promised to send an Israeli team to new talks scheduled this week in Cairo. He added that Israel also agreed to support efforts to vaccinate Gazans for polio after its first reported case of the disease in 25 years. And we're working with the Israeli government on that. And uh, I believe that uh, we'll be able to move forward with a plan to do that uh, in the coming weeks. It is urgent. It is vital. Netanyahu said that he sought to free a maximum number of hostages in the first stage of a ceasefire deal. I would like to emphasize the efforts to release a maximum number of living hostages already in the first stage of the deal. Blinken on his ninth trip to the region since the war began also met Israeli President Isaac Herzog and the Defense Minister Yoav Gallant. Blinken will now travel to Egypt and then Qatar to push for the truce. In Israel, families of hostages continued their protests urging a deal. My dad, we tried to bring them home to us. Bring them home to us, Talks in Qatar seeking a ceasefire and hostage return agreement last week paused without a breakthrough. They are expected to resume this week based on the U.S. proposal. Hamas, who did not take the who did not take part in the Doha talks directly, criticized Blinken's claim, saying it raises many ambiguities. It said that the proposal was not what was presented to U.S. nor what we agreed on. Now this comes as Hamas took responsibility for a blast in Tel Aviv on Sunday and announced a resumption of suicide bombing inside Israel after many years. Meanwhile, Gaza health authorities claim that Israeli military strikes killed at least 30 Palestinians across the Gaza Strip on Monday. The Israeli military said its air force struck a number of Hezbollah weapons storage facilities in Lebanon's eastern Beka Valley. Lebanese state media reported that at least three Israeli airstrikes hit towns in Balbek district. Lebanon's health ministry said that eight people were including eight people, including six Lebanese citizens and two Syrian children were injured. All right, to discuss all the developments on that front, we have with us our correspondent Susan Tehrani from New York. Now, Susan, thank you so much for staying on with us. Of course, we're talking about a bridging proposal here. What I want to understand is what would that entail? Yeah, what we know so far is that this bridging proposal, which is essentially a proposal that is hoped by the United States that would agree by both sides doesn't include two of Benjamin Netanyahu's key demands. One of them, that Israeli presence continues along the Israel-Egyptian border, Gaza-Egyptian border, excuse me, uh, and for a mechanism in central Gaza uh, to be established that militant Hamas doesn't continue to rule or rule once again. 
the Gaza Strip. So those are two aspects that Netanyahu was very adamant in having in any proposal and appears that this bridging proposal doesn't include that. We'll learn more about it if, by the, in the next couple of days. But as of now, the Israeli television is reporting that these negotiations will continue and that Netanyahu has agreed to send negotiators to Cairo. Of course, this is his ninth visit there. Everyone, at least in the Biden camp, would be hoping to arrive at some kind of uh, conclusion here that they can also announce back home. All right. Uh, thank you so much for getting us the latest, Susan. And uh, we'll, there's more to discuss from the Democratic National Convention as well. Uh, we'll come back to you in a bit.